Hospitality comes in many formats, and a bed and breakfast is actually the original precursor to the modern day hotel. Marshall Woods Bed and Breakfast here in Waterloo is a very popular and luxurious one. And I wanted to talk to the innkeepers to find out why would anyone with their own private sanctuary want to open it up to the rest of us. Let's go find out. How long have you been in the Waterloo area? Well, we bought the house in 99 and we moved in in June <coughs> uh, 2000. How was this house before you bought it? Terrible shape. He had a relative living two doors down the street who made that comment that he was very neglectful and, and really didn't do anything for this house. So it took a lot of work. I worked in here by myself uh, and hired a few tradesmen and spent six months trying to rebuild things and, and repair. There's a lot more B&Bs out there now and there are a lot of people staying at B&Bs instead of hotels now. Why do you think that is? It's hard to say. Uh, it just, I think people who, there are people who like B&Bs and there are people who like hotels. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about your bed and breakfast? We have two rooms at the lower level. There's five levels in the house. Jean and I basically live at the top level. And that's where our bedroom and bathroom is. And. Uh, they're down at the bottom level, which is actually the front of the house, and that's the front entrance to the house, the, the formal entrance. And so they can come and go and not feel that they're inter interfering or interrupting us if they want privacy. And we tell people that when they head for bed, that don't worry about turning up the TV too loud. We won't hear it, and the other guests won't hear it. The doors in this place are solid. So sound doesn't travel. Each room has its own bathroom. We have a sun deck here. We overlook the uh, city here. You can see universities from here. And uh, you can sit out in the sun deck and relax, or you can come up into our living room because we do most of our living on the top two levels. And uh, this is a very comfortable and very spacious living room. And then, of course, the next level up from the living room is the dining room. And there's a patio out, uh, off the, from the uh, bedroom. We have a fish pond out there with uh, a bunch of goldfish. We have a, a cat who drinks out of that fish pond. And when he does, the fish all congregate and they uh, almost touch noses. Uh, it's quite a sight to see. And we are in a very heavily wooded uh, lot here. Summertime, you can hardly see the house from the street. What's been the best part of owning a bed and breakfast? I think it's just the people that you meet. It's, you, you've got to enjoy meeting people. So here at Marshall Woods B&B on Marshall Street is the co-proprietor, Jean Marshall, who is the breakfast cook. Hello, Jean. Thank you so much for having us here behind the scenes in your gorgeous, gorgeous kitchen. Oh, thank you for inviting us, Maribel. I want to ask you a quick question. Uh, what do you think makes a really good B&B breakfast? What sort of love and details do you put into your breakfast table? Lots of work, mm. lots of nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, we really aim to cater to our guests' dietary needs. And what are you going to make for us this morning? We're going to make uh, lemon pancakes. Lemon pancakes. I'm excited. So, go ahead, take the floor. Start with one cup of flour, white sugar, baking powder, half a teaspoon of soda. A little so, bit of salt is good. That's fine. Mm -hmm. In one bowl. Mix all your dry ingredients. That's a good way to mix, because you're not activating anything yet. That's right. I don't use low-fat sour cream. That's a girl. Not for this recipe. <laughs> so you mix your wet ingredients in, in a separate bowl. separate bowl. That's a good idea. So not a lot of milk in this recipe, because mm -hmm. the sour cream yes. will, and the egg will do the moisturing. 
I love lemon zest and lemon juice used together because you get that extra punch of flavor. Yeah, and it's really good for you. It's very good for you, full of antioxidants, nutrition, some natural oils. Mm -hmm. One large dish of egg. And one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And I use pure vanilla in my cooking. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. And my butter. Perfect. There you go. Just perfect. <laughs> Here we go. Mix in our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. Now we can put that in. Mm. Oh, that does add See a really how nice. fluffy they are? Yes. Mm. So just ladle them out. And they don't have to be particular. That looks like a very light, fluffy batter. Beautiful. Those look delicious. Mm -hmm. So enjoy someone else's home instead of your own and appreciate all that personalized service a B&B can offer you. So find that romantic or peace and quiet escape in a luxurious bed and a gourmet breakfast. Marshall Woods B&B has all of those bells and whistles.